Okay, I'm playing against uh, none other than Grandmaster Daniil Dubov. Uh, we have a Sicilian defense. Bishop to b5. I shouldn't have allowed that. I normally play a6 first. Just playing a Khan rather than a Taimanov from the get-go. I think we've just transposed to a Taimanov now, so let's go Queen c7. Mm. Yeah, just developing castle. I guess there should not be a problem with that plan here. Um, bishop to bishop to e3 perhaps is the standard move for him here. Or maybe queen to f3 or even queen to g4 actually could also be good. Uh, but then I can just castle if he plays bishop h6 I have bishop to f6. Knight to g5. Interesting. What's the problem if I take? If I take, he just takes with the pawn. The knight needs to move. For example, um, e takes d5, e takes d5, knight takes d5, queen takes d5. Um, but then... Yeah, but then he has stuff like queen to e2, bishop to g5. I really don't want to get into that. And then I can just give up the piece back. And then if I take with um, the d pawn, if he takes uh, the knight on c6, I just take with the d pawn and I'm fine. I actually have the bishop pair. So I think I'm, I'm actually okay here. I think I just got a good position from the opening. Obviously, d6 doesn't work. Yeah, and I'm just fine here. I can just... Um, I just need to develop the light square bishop and I'm fine. Uh, I can play bishop to f6 now. Just consolidating. And um, normal development, basically. So, this should be okay. I think this is just okay for black. Um... He needs to develop the dark square bishop somehow, and at the moment I don't see a good square other than maybe... What if he plays bishop to f4? Yeah, that's just fine. Um, I think queen b6 is the obvious move here. But then what if he plays something like... I don't know, something like bishop to d6. Rook d8. Uh, rook d1. Rook takes d6 and he has a checkmate on e8. Uh, but then, yeah, this this should probably be okay. I think queen to b6 is okay. Yeah, this has to be okay. Bishop to d6 seems a bit seems a bit risky. It seems a bit it seems like something he does not have to do. But what's happening here? I'm just winning a pawn now. Um bishop takes pawn takes queen takes and then bishop to e5 I have queen to h4. Kind of defending uh the g7 square. Um do I develop the bishop or just take the pawn? I can I think I can get away with grabbing this pawn and I'm just up a pawn. Yes, we have a opposite color bishop endgame if queens are exchanged, but let's not forget we have a pair of rooks still on the board, so um black can potentially play for a win here. Yeah, bishop to e5 doesn't work. I don't think it works. I have queen to h4 and I'm just fine. Um rook to e4. Hey, I need to watch out for the time. Why did I get down on time so quickly? Okay, this is a good move, actually. Yeah, but then queen f6, bishop uh, e5, queen g6. And even though he has some initiative after bishop to e6, I think I'm just okay. 
I think I'm just okay because I can always uh, shuffle the queen between g6 and h6 defending the g7 square if he tries to to push me with um, say bishop with a constant bishop to e5 bishop to f4 I don't think he has the time to to make any progress because I'm threatening rook exchanges on the d file at some point so let's see let's not forget I'm up a pawn okay we're kind of equal on time now but I need to make moves quickly here I cannot afford to to go down on time from here Yeah, I'm just eyeing the d-file here. Exchanges on the d-file should be my priority in this case. Um, rook d8, bishop g5 doesn't work because I just take with a check. Actually, it's a checkmate, so he can't play bishop to g5 now. Uh, again, okay, I need to keep seeking exchanges here somehow. Let's exchange the rook with uh, rook to d5. I don't think he can avoid that. He's just... Uh, I'm getting the initiative in that case if he avoids that exchange. Interesting. I'm just up a pawn now. Uh, I don't think he has material for an attack here anymore, so let's just take the pawn on a2. I don't have much time to think about it. It seems like it seems like the right decision. So I can always defend um, the king's side with something like bishop to b1, bishop to g6. And I need to watch out not to give him this tempo with h5. So it is a bit tricky with the remaining time to find to find the perfect moves, unfortunately, here. So I'm not really certain about, about this plan with bishop to... Okay, let's see. He does not have a check. I can get away with this and just take the queen if he moves the rook. check and I should still be able to defend somehow my rook is under attack let's just move the rook in and just uh, try and defend I can't play rook to e8 he has bishop f6 uh, bishop f6 now g6 and I think I should still be able to defend the dark squares okay g6 is the only move um Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't see I had only two seconds left. So let's analyze this. Um, I didn't think this went that bad at all, actually. I think I had serious chances for a draw at least. And I was up two pawns at some point. So this could have potentially been even objectively winning. And... Um, Yes, I'm playing against the Super Grandmaster, which doesn't mean that the position that looks drawish is necessarily going to be a draw. In fact, the chances that um, they're going to outplay you at some point in one way or another. But still, objectively, I think that the position was at least a draw at some point. So, here, funny enough, I don't allow the bishop to b5 move. I just play a6 and just transpose to some kind of a Khan variation, which I don't normally play. But only, uh, only if the bishop to b5 threat is present, I will just play a6 and just play a Khan rather than a Taimanov. But after this, we're just transposing to a Taimanov. So I think I'm pretty okay here when it comes to experience and knowledge-wise. However, I was quite shocked by this move. I was not expecting this. And um, I spent quite a bit of time here trying to work out um, what happens if I don't take... But, um, yeah, I don't think that, that not taking is good because, let's say, I play something like this. Then he just takes, I take, and uh, he takes. And then I have this bad bishop on c8. I'm behind in development, and uh, he's just going to grind me down here. There's, there's no doubt about that, that um, I cannot win this position um, at all. Uh, playing against an opponent of this caliber, you can simply forget about about winning something like this. So it was a good decision to take that knight on d5. And here it was also a good decision to castle. This is what the computer recommends. Simply giving up uh, the piece or giving back the piece rather because material is equal now and I have the bishop pair. 
So according to the computer, there's a small plus for black here, and I don't see why not. I have the bishop pair, I have no um, visible weaknesses, I am not behind in development, uh, because I have one undeveloped piece and he has one undeveloped piece. So white being first, he can develop the piece first, so that's fine. Um... Bishop to f6, um, computer recommends bishop to d6, but I didn't like that during the game because I'm kind of afraid about um, some threats against the g7 uh, square and things like bishop to h6, which is probably not a justified, uh, justified threat at this stage, but in a very short blitz game against an opponent um, as strong as this, you, you want to keep things tight and not allow any weaknesses at least not from the very start so i thought that i simply need to um stay close to my king here and um have the bishop as some sort of a defender and it's also attacking the knight on g4 so i didn't really see a big problem with this move and the computer doesn't see a problem with this move either okay here i was i was really worried about uh queen to b6 that's why i spent so much time here i was just just worried about something like this uh, it's probably objectively not good. Yeah, uh, that's just a blunder. That's just a blunder, I guess. Uh, because you have queen d4 and you just have... Um, yeah, you, you kind of... You have the bishop. You have two bishops for a rook, which is, which is good. So uh, I was panicking about stuff like, uh, for example, here, then having to play something like this. I simply didn't see I could, I could just take the knight. And then I was I was just afraid here. I don't know why. It was just I was seeing ghosts, I guess. But um, I don't know why. I just uh, I just thought I was under some under some pressure here because because of back rank threats and stuff like that. Um, because I can't really take this. I can't really take this bishop, for example. Uh, let's see, like this, this. Uh, something like this and that that wouldn't have worked because of this checkmate so that's the kind of stuff i was seeing during the game uh, which is which was probably not justified but again you don't have a lot of time to think in these very short time controls so sometimes you have to go based on intuition so queen to b6 is the correct move as a matter of fact and uh, here I don't think that giving up the pawn leads to anything good for white. I don't think that this is... I don't. I just don't think this is good for white. Um, and the computer kind of agrees. It gives a small plus for black. Uh, because white has given up a pawn. Um, the, the pressure is not is not so significant against, against the g7 square yet. So I simply develop and uh, of course I'm going to exchange some pieces. Um, and that was not a bad move, actually. Uh, rook to d5. The computer recommends rook to d4 with, with kind of a decent advantage for black here. Let's see why. After bishop to g5, queen g6. Yeah, my position is, is actually very good. My position is very good. Um, because, let's say... He wants to go with something like this because I don't see any other any other way to continue continue the attack as white here. Um, he has nothing against the queen side. He can only hope for some some threats against the king, but then just h6 and um, yeah, and this is just crushing actually for black. Um, let's say he plays something like this. Queen g3, bishop, and yeah, I'm just just destroying uh, white's white's queen side, basically. And now I can take on a2. And I thought during the game that after the exchange of these pieces, I could already I could already simply take on a2, because he doesn't have enough pieces for an attack. And the computer does not necessarily disagree here. He thinks that black is just fine. But in hindsight, I should have probably consolidated. Um, somewhat better before taking on a2. And let's not forget, I'm up a pawn and um, a pair of rooks is still on the board. After the after the queen exchange, a potential queen exchange, I can still play for a win objectively. I mean, of course, let's not forget who we're playing against. 
uh, and that even up upon would be would be hard to draw I imagine without putting myself down I think that even a pawn up in an opposite colored bishop against a super grandmaster is uh, is really not an easy thing to do so I wasn't I really wasn't getting ahead of myself here I just thought that I had um, decent decent drawing chances to say the least and here that is that is the losing move unfortunately because what I was calculating is I can give the check run with the bishop uh, run with the rook and then be able to somehow defend the dark squares but unfortunately there wasn't a way I was actually thinking of stuff like um, bishop to bishop to b1 and bishop to g6 kind of defending everything but I simply don't have enough time for this defensive plan and that that's very clumsy uh, you don't need to calculate a lot here to tell that this is very clumsy the dark square weakness is is way too way too significant to be able to defend in a way like this unfortunately so yeah there is no defense after this i simply am not in time to defend the dark squares what could have been a better way rather than taking on on a2 here yeah h6 simply play h6 then maybe yeah king to h7 at some point and i'm just fine i'm the one playing for a win here although i would like to reiterate that that would have probably not happened uh given the strength of my opponent so yeah not a bad game i would say this is probably my best game so far against the super grandmaster i will keep grinding let's hope we can we can get a win at some point so if you want to see more games like this please consider subscribing to the channel Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.